Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given the function c, which is defined as c is equal to 5 ninths r minus 0 0.6, parentheses, minus 273. And this relates the degrees in Rankine r to degrees Celsius c. We're asked when you decrease Rankine by 8.82, what is the decrease in Celsius? Okay, so there's two ways you could go about doing this. You could say, okay, I'm going to plug in, let's say, 0 and then 8.82, and I'll see the difference, and we'll have some really complicated number decimal that it's going to take a while to calculate. If you have a calculator, it won't be too bad, but you know, the numbers will get messy. Or you could say, okay, what is the rate of change for Celsius over Rankine? Right? So if you change 1 degree Rankine, what does that turn into in terms of Celsius? If we, if we distribute this out, right, we have c is equal to 5 over 9r minus 5 over 9 times 0 0.6 minus 273. So if you think of this as terms of like the y equals mx plus b as you normally do it, right? This is our b, this is just our constant, and the rate of change is 5 ninths. So we're saying every 1 degree in Rankine that you choose, that you change, that will change 5 ninths in Celsius. Right? So if you have, let's say we're going from zero, ignoring this because it'll be subtracted every time, so that's not going to actually change the amount that's being changed. Let's say we go from zero rank kind to one rank kind. So zero is five ninths times zero equals zero. One rank kind, be five ninths times one is five ninths. So we're saying the change from zero to one is this number out here. This is our rate of change. So if we go one degree rank kind, we're going to go five ninths Celsius. Okay, so what is the decrease in temperature when the temperature decreases by 8.82? Well, you can just do 5 ninths times 8.82. Again, one tiny little thing that'll speed us up. If we just say this is 9, right, it's close enough. 5 ninths times 9 is a lot easier because these 9 cancels and you just get 5. Um, if all these numbers were close to, all these options were close to 5, then, you know, I would just say do it out normally. But since we have negative 260, 120, 500, right? Changing this from 8.82 to 9 is not going to suddenly give us 500 points of uh, Celsius change. So 5 is close to 4.9, so that's going to be our answer since 9 is close to 8.82. So B is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.